Alright, so we're looking for today on the weekly. We've just taken out previous weekly lows, but we've also got this weekly fair value guy right here. So I do think the draw is going to be lower on the daily. It's got a little daily fair value gap up there, but right now we look like looks like we're gonna we're still inside of a daily fair value gap. I just think like look how much liquidity is down here. So much more liquidity than like up here. We're currently holding a four hour bearish fair value gap. Well, like liquidity here, liquidity here, liquidity there. Yeah, I think that we should be looking for shorts today. Look for a trend extension down. <clears throat> one hour. We just broke one one hour structure to the downside right here. We look like it looks like we might do it again soon. But what can we say then? That firstly we got a one hour for value gap, which is filled and it's held. Um one hour break was we'll right here. Fifteen. Realistically I wanna see it retrace. Either up into like some sort of accumulation up here, or like take out like a drawer or something, like one of these highs or these highs, or accumulate and then manipulate, and then we can target all the way down here, mix with this drawer. Actually, we swept that already, but not all of that. So I will be looking for a short today. Um, we're holding a one hour bullish though. So we're inside of a daily fair value gap and then we're, we've got a one hour bullish. So that's what's against us. But if we can suss an entry somehow, I'm keen to enter and short it. <clears throat> The draw here and there. I think we're trying to suss out sell side right now, but who knows how we're going to get this. I'm um, on Euro JPY, the weekly. We got a weekly figure we get. Of previous weekly lows right here. And the daily. It looks like we're about to close below. Well, we have closed below this. Daily fair value gap right here. And we're still like inside of another daily fair value gap. Um, on the four hour, same as the other trade, we're like holding this four, we're holding a four hour bearish. Yo, is that a fucking flyer? I fucking hate bugs. Alright, we got a four hour free value gap. <laughs> That's holding bearish. We also got another four hour free value gap right here. Um, got this draw right here. <clears throat> Four hour fair value gap. So yeah, this is this is sell side right now, or a form of sell side. <clears throat> um, and that's our next draw. Broke structure again on the one hour here. It looks like we're about to take out the sell side. So I don't know how I'm going to trade this. Maybe a long. But I don't know how, how the fuck am I supposed to long this. It's a pretty small 4 alpha value yet. 
We've still got a 15 fair value guy right here. Seems like we've got a lot of liquidity up here. So if it takes out sell side, we could possibly see if we could get a trade up to buy side. But yeah, take out sell side, target buy side. We'll go from there. So we're long today, if we can get a model. And on GJ, we're looking to short. If we can get a retracement to accumulation. Yeah. I I just got back from the gym. This is what we're looking for right now. So we've swept the slow. And we're rallying up now. <clears throat> Let me just do some top-down analysis. So We've swept previous weekly lows and we've tapped into the weekly fair value gap. So we can expect some bullish movement. And the daily. We're still holding moon. We're still inside of this daily fair value gap. We could still be holding this thing right here, which is the daily fair value gap. The four hour. Four hour, yeah, we just took out this draw. Four hour, we're holding a bearish fair value gap though. This is against us. We've got a four hour fair value gap right here. One hour, do we, oh, do we have news today? We got shit tomorrow. We got shit at 11, so I probably won't be holding any big trades overnight. The one hour, we just disrespected this one hour bearish fair value gap, so now this this is an inverse fair value gap. Okay, <clears throat> let me make this a bit cleaner. For a longing bias, we got a weekly fair value gap slash previous weekly low. We just tapped into liquidity, we got an inverse one hour. 15 minute, we got a 15 minute break right here. And the five minute, we're currently inside of a five minute, inside of the one hour. I would be keen to long off this, I'm not gonna lie. So right now we got weekly, no, this is a trend reversal. Because we're, we're making we're making lower lows. <clears throat> we're making lower lows, lower highs. Realistically, I could I could short here. Look, low, 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 high, low, 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 high. But right now we've taken out previous weekly low plus weekly fair value gap tap into. This is a liquidity sweep. Look, sweep. Reverse off. And then now we've. Bro, we're making, we're bearish though, so it's, it's a bit of a, uh, who knows how high we're going to go. We've got a 15 MB, inverse, one hour, fair value gap. We've got a five, fair value gap. Could I long it to like, TP1's always a 15 minute draw, so right here. In TP2, right here. Right here. In like this fair value gap, and like this low. And now, could I? Yeah, I could. <clears throat> Who the fuck knows if it's gonna hit though? It could. Um. So what are we looking for now? We look for one minute break, one minute fair value gap, or should I just enter on a one minute break structure? We got one. Say one. Two, three, four, five, 
and then a one minute break. We've got six, and then against us we have It looks like a sweep, bro. If they were to fill short, it'd be there. But we, yeah, against us we got a four alpha early yet. Trend is bearish. No one HP. The four hours bearish. The one hour, we're bullish because we just closed past this. Four hours bearish. The one hour is bullish because we just disrespected this. So now we're looking for a long, if we can get a one minute break of structure. Or should I wait for a one minute for value? I probably should wait for a one minute for value yet. But yeah, we'll check back in on that like every so often. GJ, this is what I noticed in the gym. Like, I could have taken that trade with one out straight away, but. <clears throat> Tom, 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 Tom. The four hour. We're inside of a daily fair value. Okay, let's go from the weekly. Weekly, this I think we're still gonna go lower because we've got previous weekly low plus the weekly fair value gap. So I don't, I wouldn't be longing, but knowing these markets, you probably could long and fucking make money. Um, four hour, we just swept the previous daily low right here. Should I be longing, bro? Where's the break that we want? We want it above this high. So if it closes above there, we could enter into this fair value. Oh, fuck. I might have to enter in this fair value yet. Yeah. Where's my stop loss? Load up IQ. Don't fucking hack me. I... Come into that fair value gap and I'm along. Steenu. 8.3. I'm willing to risk 1% on this. How many is that? Fuck off, fuck off, I need, no, I could, I, I would be in right now, but I don't, I need to calculate my fucking stop loss, bro, my, my position sizing, 1.7, okay, Euro JPY, 1.7, bye, save, if it comes down to here and fills the rest of the 5 minute, I'm gonna close, um, Euro JPY, 1.7 Let's get it. Alright, we're in. <clears throat> Come down here and we're out. We entered off a one minute break, one minute for value gap. The only thing against us is we have no one hour break and we don't have a we have a four hour for value gap way above here which caused this rally down. It's held this four hour rally down. I rallied out into this weekly fair value gap, took out a previous weekly low, broke structure, the upside in the 15, disrespected this fair value gap, tapped into it right here, created a 5 minute and tapped into that as well. Um, See, it hold this bullish fair value gap. If it holds it, that's good. We're gonna probably go up and hit this. Hit our take profit. But if it closes, blow it. I'm not keen, and we'll probably hit our stop loss.
We've just broken structure to the downside on the one minute. We have closed below this one minute bullish reality gap. It's not looking good, to be honest. But these markets are unpredictable. Who knows how it's going to play out? I, if we look on the 15 minute, our stop loss, slightly below it, but we do have a 15 minute fee value gap right here, that price might want to tap into. We haven't broken structure on the 5 minute, which isn't, which is good, but we have this 15 minute fee value gap right here, which price probably wants to fill a bit. We probably will get, like, there is a possibility that we'll get swapped out on this broker, but on MetaTrader, we probably, I think MetaTrader is better spread. But, yeah, I definitely do think that this 15-minute fair value gap will get tapped into before we hit this take profit. Probably take out this little internal thing as well. So yeah, sweep internal liquidity, tap into the 15 minute fair value gap, hopefully we don't get stopped out. And yeah. <clears throat> All right, it looks like it's about to take out the internal liquidity. Come on, a little bit, a little bit further down. Surely, don't stop me out, and then we can see some move to the upside. I wonder what the one hour is making for London. We've still got this inverse. We'll probably make a one hour for value gap. That's the only thing. That's the that's the one thing that's a bit dodgy. We'll probably be making a one hour fair value gap, which would be like all throughout here. So with this tight stop loss, it's a bit dodgy. Maybe we should have waited for eight o'clock before before we traded. But hopefully it hits the fifteen minute drawing liquidity first before we get this one hour fair value gap. We've just taken out the liquidity. We've tapped into the fifteen. Who knows how far this is gonna go? Could possibly get stopped out. <clears throat> Predictions. Who knows? I don't care what market does. If it wants to stop me out, just stop me out. <clears throat> no, I genuinely don't care. If the market wants to stop me out, stop me out. I know what I should have done. I should have been more patient. Waited till at least 8 p.m. for an entry. Or waited till 7.30 to wait for that fair value gap to get filled. To be fair, it probably did stop me out, to be honest, but not much you can do about that. Just a loss that Maybe patience is what we should have. Maybe we should have waited longer before we entered this trade. Maybe we should have waited for that to give us more bullish confluence. Break a block? I don't even know what that shit means. Mm. See how far we want to go. If they want to stop me out, they'll stop me out.
Not bad. Well, we just lost this trade. Fortunately, we got stopped out. Um, it's unlucky. We lost. How much did we lose? $121. Fuck, G. Pretty fat loss. Then we got fucked by spread, of, spread as well. But, uh, yeah. $105. Alright, that's all good. Maybe I should have de-risked because I wasn't trading before London. I mean, before London opened. But damn, bro. I thought it was a good trade. So what we should have waited for... 7 o'clock, 7.15... When did I enter? I entered it at here. At 7. So 7.15 was made here. So we had this 15 minute fair value gap. So maybe we should have waited for it to get filled first. Because obviously they are hunting stop loss. I was liquidity basically. I'm pretty sure I was just liquidity. And they just wanted to fill this 15 minute fair value gap. So I, would, I should have waited for that. And then at this point, I probably should have waited for the one hour. But yeah, unlucky oof. We were liquidity. This is now a five minute break. So we've got a five minute break to the downside now. We just got to see how this plays out. I have no idea how this is going to play out. I think if this 15 minute fair value gap holds, we might be able to long. But if it doesn't, then you could possibly short this 5 minute fair value gap to like here. Or and like here and here. Because this is a trend extension. But yeah, unlucky, we lost. Fucking a lot. Thankfully, thankfully we didn't enter on both. Because if we did, <laughs> we lost so much. But yeah, I think there we go. The five minutes of value gap on the fifteen. Same as there's a, a tiny one. I wouldn't really count it. Maybe we just got faked out with this one hour, and it's going to continue bearish. So I thought it was an inverse, but apparently it could be a fake out if it closes inside of it. So I just got faked out. Maybe that's why I should wait till London to trade. Wait till 8 o'clock. 15. Depends how this goes. Um, yeah. Check back in later. Okay, so on the 15 minute, 30 seconds of closing there. Otherwise, I'm bearish, and I'll be, I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'll, I'll possibly be entering off this five minute fair value gap for a short unless you close in there. And on GJ, could probably short there. GJ, I've got a different trade. We'd be we're calling this area accumulation, which caused this massive rally down price. Tapped into accumulation, broke structure on the five minute. We've got a five minute fair value gap. And on here, we've disrespected this inverse. I mean, disrespected this 15 fair value gap. So anywhere up here, I'd be keen to enter. So here we got 5 MB, 5 fair value gap, disrespect 15 fair value gap. As well as it's a trend extension, but we don't really have like an internal sweep or anything. Uh, <clears throat> trend extension, and then on the one hour, I'm guessing we got a one. We just got fucking faked out by the one hour for value gap.
on our fake out. Then what was against us? We had. We don't have that. We don't have that. Previous week alone thing tapped into. Is that all we is that the biggest rally we're getting from that? Or can we see some retracement to accumulation here? I don't know. GJ. We wanna see it come up in here. So we're just watching Euro JPY for the time being. I tapped into this <clears throat> five minute fair value gap. The thing is, if it closes above this line on the one hour, then. Ah, uh, what'd you say? How do you say it? Then it's a one hour, not fake out. <clears throat> not not a fake out on the one hour fair value gap, but if it closes below. Simple fake out. So, if I was to enter on this, I'd wait for a one minute break and a one minute fair value gap and put my stop loss at this high or whatever high it makes. And yeah, let's just see how it plays out. Bro, at the same time, could this 15 minute candle just be another fake out candle? And then you got a one minute break, one minute fair value gap, and you could be long it up there. And I was just, this was just like a turtle soup thing where it took out, took out liquidity inside there. Took out like the straw. Who the fuck knows? If it closes above that, then I'm bullish. But if it closes under it, and hopefully down here, then I'm bearish. Alright, if we close below this, which is a one hour fake out candle. If it closes inside of it, that means we've been faked out on a one hour fair value gap, which means I will be bearish. But if we close above it, I'm going to be bullish. Right now, it's looking like we're going to be bearish, but it could flip at any second. On GJ, we're holding it, so we're bearish. So this five minute fair value gap wouldn't be a bad shout for a short if we can get an entry off that. Hero JPY, we're holding this 15 minute fair value gap with a fake out. On the 5 minute, we've filled this 5 minute fair value gap. On the 1 hour, though, is this going to be a fake out or a close below? A close below, so it's a fake out, and now we have another 1 hour fair value gap right here. So I'm bearish now. Flip bias. Bias has been changed. Even though we're holding this 15 minute bullish. If we can get a one minute break bearish, followed by a one minute fair value gap, I'd be keen to short. How many pips is my stop loss though? I'll be willing to do it here. And then TP1. Right here. Inside that one hour fair value gap. Should probably do a bit shorter if it's going to be all the way down there maybe like the most recent high but yeah i'm going to enter right now because we said yesterday when we get that one minute break you can enter i just risk 1.7 again same as last time <clears throat> i should probably enter on meta Fuck. it's a bit late now but I entered on IQ, and if it goes, it's my take profit. Seven five six. Seven five. Six five. Well, we've had our take profit. Made a cheeky thirty dollars. It's really rallying now. Yeah, absolutely. It's gonna take out the slow, I think. Um. Probably target. Here 
and here as well. If you can get a retracement into a one minute fair value gap or anything like that. Me personally, I'd enter on a one minute fair value, fair value gap again. One point seven. Actually, my my stop loss is three point nine, so we can risk a bit more. I'll just say my stop loss is five pips. Risking one percent. I'm good two point nine units. TP one would be the bottom of this one hour fair value gap. TP two down here. TP three down here. TP four down there. If we can get a retracement into a fair value gap, surely though. <clears throat> but yeah, we had a little, little scalp, made some of our money back on here, but not on Meta Trader, unfortunately. But give me a retracement and I'm in. Risking what two point, two point nine. Looking like we've got a five minute break to the downside, sorry for turning my mouth full, but if we can get a retracement, I'll be super keen to enter more. I come up here, but that'd be a mean trade. Damn, I wish I entered on MetaTrader. We're bearish now, though. Because. Trend is bearish. Got a one hour fake out. Now filled this one hour fair value gap. Could be breaking structure on the 15. On the end of this 15 right there. Five minute we broke bearish, we filled a five minute fair value gap. We had a big rally down. I can't enter on this one minute break or something. I'm keen to enter more for retraces. Do I think it's going to hold this one hour fair value gap and continue higher now? It possibly could be creating a higher low. Who knows how many of these are going to get hit. Right there. That's the fake out. Yeah, it looks pretty bearish. I think this is it. This... Southside liquidity is the draw. But there's other draws along the way. And we're about to add another take profit. Surely it goes up and fills some more orders. <clears throat> Super tight stop loss. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Check back on if we can entry. Alright. EQ. Plus the like area of accumulation. Slash order block thing. I'll be keen to enter there. We filled the one out completely. So who knows. How many would that be? Like a shitty fill there. Nah, I'd rather, nah, fuck that. I'm waiting for this fair value gap. 
Otherwise, I'm not sure. Dude. Or like near it. Go high enough. Go high up enough. Now I'll be keen to show up. We are fucking rallying. We just hit our next tape buffer, which was here. We entered. We entered fucking. We entered there. Like. Where the fuck did we enter? At 8.01, we entered. Right here. We entered there and we took our first take profit, like, there, bro. I should have, I should prioritize MetaTrader over fucking IQ option. Because MetaTrader, I could, I could have been scaling out contracts right now. Who gives a fuck about IQ option? IQ option is just for aesthetics, bro. Fuck IQ option. MetaTrader all the way. But... If we get a retracement, am I gonna am I gonna enter? Possibly, bro. We now got a five minute fair value gap. Big fat five minute fair value gap. But who knows how low it's gonna go? I'm probably I think I should be done for the day, but I'll still watch market, see what happens, and I'll do call outs of trades I would enter. We hit our next TP. I don't think I'll be trading this. I wouldn't trade the short. I'd more look for a long after takes out south side, but I think that's me done for today. Yo. Alright, we've taken out south side. <clears throat> Could potentially look for a long. That's the upside. South side. The thing is, what have I just learned? Trade with the trend. You wanted to catch this extension downwards because you know this trend is bearish. Why would you want to take a long up to a shorter move? It's not super high probability, bro. I think GJ still wants to go more bearish. Might be able to get an entry inside this five minute. But yeah, we've taken out the sell side. Could probably see a little move up into there or this 15 minute fair value we got right here. So yeah, let's see what happens. I so we've taken out the sell side. We're now about to break structure on the five minute. <clears throat> on the one minute. Got a one minute fair value gap down there. Am I gonna enter? Nah. I wanna see some more displacement pass like just further up and then a retracement. I wouldn't be willing to enter on that. I wanna see more displacement. Alright, so we've taken out south side, we've got a five minute break. We're now making this five minute fair value gap. Am I willing to enter on a one minute? One minute. Fair value, yeah, or, or one minute break up to this 15 minute draw, then up here, then like up there. Possibly. I don't think I should be trading past 9 though. I'm just, I don't know. I just like the idea of scalping. I still got it back. Okay, so on the one hour, it closed below this bullish value gap so that could either mean that it's going to do a fake out again or yeah i think we're going to target that 15 minute for value gap I'm not willing to enter on this we, we tap into this um If we hit that, hit the take profit, and I'm done for the day. I'm just going to backtest, see what I could have done better. Obviously, we took one very big fucking L trade right here. This one, we got stopped out here. Lost a fuck ton of money. And then we took this, <laughs> took this short, and we closed there. We rallied all the way down there. So, yeah. 
Short could have been big, but we used IQ option, so we only made like thirty dollars. Made a quarter of what we could have. Okay, cool. Hit that fifteen minute drill. I'm fucking. I'm done. So, anyways, this was our short that we took. I entered on the one minute break. Uh, right here. Took profit at the one alpha value yet, which is super tight we took a we took there took all our profits off there so let's say we targeted here how much is that 0 0.47 our stop loss was here so it was about one to one we, that's three percent we would have targeted 22 percent so more than like Five? More than five times it. More than six times our trade, we would have hit. So we made six times. Okay, we could. Okay, cool. We uh, okay, we could have made a lot more fucking money. But unfortunately, we weren't a. We just we entered on IQ option instead of MetaTrader. MetaTrader is so much better. You can take partials, but yeah. So these were the trades we took today. We took a long here. What was it? Right there. Put our stop loss like here. And we lost. 5%. And then we could have taken this one, which would have got 22%, which, which would have ate our loss. Unfortunately, we well, we did take it. We, didn't, we just didn't take it on MetaTrader. So we weren't able to scale our positions. But... Yeah.